This is my realistic fitness journey this year through all the sweat, struggle and setbacks and how I completely transformed my mental and physical self. I feel like I've done a couple challenges this year, but I haven't really talked about my overall health journey or my fitness journey for a long time. I talked about Stronger by B in my last eight week challenge and my 30 day body transformation, but it is literally the only thing that has been consistent in my life in the last couple of years. These workout programs are what got me into fitness in the first place from literally being a person who would never step foot in a gym to me now who is like a whole new person. I immensely enjoy going to the gym. I love lifting weights. I love how it makes me feel. There's four different Stronger by B programs. You can do them at home or you can do them at the gym. The four programs are Sweat, Burn, Focus and Build. Build is a strength-based program all about building muscle. Sweat is mainly cardio. It's all about burning body fat and increasing endurance. Burn is more a beginner friendly version of build. It's a mixture of cardio and strength training and it's the first program I ever did. And then there's focus which is all about engaging your glutes and activating your core. All the programs are eight weeks and they come in a PDF file format and now they have video demonstrations of every exercise so it's even easier to follow. Stronger by B is actually owned by my friend and trainer Bianca so she does the workouts with me at the gym. By the way I do have a code for Stronger by B, so you can use code SUSIE15 for 15% off all of the programs. How exciting, love to see it. Okay, back to Susie. <laughs> so what you're about to see in this video is basically my experience trying to get back on my fitness BS, get back into a healthy routine. Wait up, before we get into it, we need to go back a bit. Oh Jesus, not that far back. Fast forward. Almost, almost stop. Back in 2020, I went from being someone who had never lifted a weight in her life to completing a Stronger by B eight week program. And after that, I never looked back. The gym became a major part of my life. At the end of 2021, I felt the strongest I ever had. I was hitting goals, lifting heavier, pushing myself to my absolute limits. And then the holidays came, which meant a lot of drinking, a lot of eating, some more eating. And to top it all off, I got COVID at the end. So I ended up spending two months away from the gym. Little did I know that would be the least of my troubles in 2022. Once I was feeling better, it was time to get back into the gym and slowly but surely I got back into it. And I mean very slowly. <sighs> okay guys, that was my first time I've gone to the gym this year. Oh my God, I was in pain today. You know, like before you vomit and your mouth fills up with saliva. That's where I'm at right now. It was a big struggle coming back to the gym after such a big break, and I definitely didn't go every single day. But thanks to muscle memory, I did manage to get my strength back up. I even started deadlifting, badly, but still. But just when things are going good, life likes to throw you curveballs. My life plot must have been getting boring because the producers were like, let's chuck a bit of grief in there, you know, really spice things up. After that, my motivation for the gym was at an all time low. My mental health was terrible, which made me not want to go to the gym, but not going to the gym made my mental health even worse. I tried coming back for the 75 hard challenge, but after that, I completely fell off again. I soon became the unhealthiest I have ever been and the unhappiest I've ever been. I wanna preface that this was not about losing weight or changing my body. I was unhappy with the way I was living and I knew that the only person who could change that was me. So I mustered up every little ounce of motivation I had and decided to start a new 30 day challenge. Hi guys, it's 5.25, the gym starts at 5.30. It is week... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I literally woke up at 2 p.m. today and everything in my life has just been chaos lately. My mental health has been crap. My fitness has been crap. And I just watched my 30 day body transformation from last year. And I don't know if that's embarrassing watching your own videos, but if Susie a year ago could do it, then I can do it. But I'll see you in there, guys. For this challenge, I'm doing the build program. Bianca writes down the exercises on the board beforehand. So we know in advance what torture we have to endure for that. That day. Now every 
every exercise starts with a warm up, which is probably my least favorite part because it's cardio. Cardio and Susie is like strawberry and mayonnaise. We don't work well together, but it's important so you don't end up hurting yourself, which I am renowned for doing. Now we're getting into the weights and after a big break from the gym, I had definitely lost some of my strength. Before I could hip thrust hundred kilos and now this 30 felt like a Mack truck. This first workout back rocked my world. I think I was in a bit of shock. That was definitely not the best session ever. <sighs> The ghost of Arnold Schwarzenegger was watching me do those Bulgarians being like, come on, faster, up, down. Why does my Arnold Schwarzenegger impression sound like a vampire? You want to do the exercise. Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. It's cooking with Susie. Today I'm gonna make some recipes from Bianca's Stronger by B recipe books. So first thing that we're making is a asparagus and smoked salmon omelet. Omelette. Ooh, whoa, yeah. <laughs> Why was that actually hard? Uh. <laughs> I'm done with that. Now we pour our egg mixture into the pan with the coconut oil. This looks good, but you know what would make it so much better? A bit of bread. That looks beautiful. I mean, look at that. Attempt the flip. Oh, oh. yes. I think I'm just gonna try and do a, a little it looks very healthy. That is very flavorful. I don't usually like omelets, but I like this. Today was quad day, which I absolutely killed. If you didn't know, my middle name is actually Quadzilla. My glutes won't show up to the party, but my quads are coming and they're bringing snacks. The workout was tough as hell, but I finished it. Ah, no. Literally just realized I didn't do an update and I was about to walk in my house. It may or may not be day three because I missed the gym yesterday. Not the best start to this workout challenge ever. I will be doing a workout this weekend to make up for it though. Very happy with today's workout. It was quad day and I'm feeling great. I had the Naked Harvest grape natural pre-workout. Would recommend. Gonna have it again tomorrow maybe. Well, if I need it, if I'm feeling sick. How rude. Cut to the most chaotic baking experience you will ever see. It wouldn't be a good day if I didn't have a little sweet snack. <sighs> How do they get oil from a coconut? Oh, isn't baking supposed to be stress relieving? I'm feeling stressed. My milk was supposed to be room temperature and it was not. So now the coat, I can't, I almost just put a metal pole in the microwave. That's folding. Oh. You're done. You're done. One hour later. And here is our lemon and coconut vegan cake. Mmm. I think I could have done with a bit more lemon, but it's really good. This day was hamstrings day, so we were doing Romanian deadlifts. These are one of the workouts I struggle with the most. Every time I do them, it feels like my hamstrings just took leave with no notice and jumped on an overnight flight to Monaco. Here is the queen herself, Bianca, helping me with my form. But it really goes to show that practice makes perfect. And for the first time I did these without hurting my back, it felt so good to progress on these. And I could feel myself slowly falling in love with weight training again. We did hamstrings today. And usually I do not do the right form with hamstrings. And I end up feeling my back, but today I was just like on point. Felt like the fittest girl ever. Might have been the pre workout talking, but still 10 out of 10 right now. <sighs> okay, I just finished with the gym, guys. I am not gonna lie, that was a very hard session. So we're starting in a new gym next Monday and very excited for that because apparently it's a lot warmer in the new gym. Feeling very proud that I got up this morning even though it was so cold and it was such a struggle, it was worth it. Every weekend, Murray and I like to take ourselves out on a little brekkie date. Now I don't diet, I just eat mindfully. I'm pescatarian, but most of the food I eat is vegetarian. What I eat every day is completely different and I like to honor my cravings. I try to eat nutritious foods, but I also love a Danish here and there. You deserve to enjoy your food. Come on, more energy. 
then I got sick, so I took an entire week off of the gym. This is me that next Sunday trying to do an at-home workout whilst being extremely ill. You may have seen this footage in my waking up at 5am everyday video, so I didn't mention the fact that I took an entire week's break in between filming that video because I was sick. This is your reminder to not believe everything you see online. Now I definitely was not perfect over these few weeks. As I said, I didn't go to the gym five days a week like I wanted to in the beginning, but I think the most important thing is remembering that your fitness journey has ups and downs. If you have a few days off or even a few weeks off or months off, do not get discouraged. It doesn't mean that you failed or you need to start all over again. The best thing you can do is just get your ass back in the gym and pick back up where you left off. Jim was moving locations and temporarily we had to use this dance studio. And since we didn't have the weights for build, we had to spice it up. So instead I was doing the focus program and I was surprised how just a booty band and a stool could set my ass on fire. That was my first day in the new gym. I am fogging the car up so much right now. We don't have afternoon sessions in this new gym, so it means I'm gonna need to get up at like five to six to get to either the 6 a.m. session or the 6.45 session. Good afternoon, me chachos. What time is it? 2 p.m. So I'm gonna make one of my fave snacks. This is a snack my super healthy sister-in-law made for me once. Don't knock it until you try it. Usually when I get obsessed with a food, it's like a specific flavor from Domino's. Um, it's not like a healthy little snack. It's basically just fighter wheats. So you just chuck a little bit of cottage cheese on there and then you grab your cucumber, chuck her on, a little bit of pepper and it's giving salt. It's giving refreshing. And depending on how I'm feeling, I'll have three of these, sometimes 12. And this is dinner. That actually looks really good. I did that. Mm, that is a tasty salad. I'm gonna say 10 out of 10 for this. This is delicious. Getting used to the new program was a bit of a learning curve. I really wasn't feeling it that day and I spent a lot of time on the floor wondering if a BBL would be easier. But I also like to sit a lot and I heard you can't do that after a BBL. So I decided to get my ass back up and finish the workout. And even though I hated it at first, I started to enjoy trying a new program. It gave me a new challenge and the change was really good for my motivation. I had been doing build for almost a year and I think changing up your fitness routine is great if you're in a slump, but not every day was so positive. This day in particular, I was sleep deprived. I didn't feel good. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. But that's the reality of a fitness journey. You have your ups and downs and not every day is gonna be perfect. The most important thing is that you just keep on moving forward. Cause even if you can't see it, every single day is progress. And this was the final day of my challenge, the morning before I was leaving for the UK. Even though I wasn't completely consistent and I didn't go to the gym five days a week, I was still so proud of how far I'd come. I felt fitter, but most importantly, I found my love for working out again. Okay guys, that was my last day of the gym. I'm literally leaving on my flight today to the UK. I was thinking this morning about how I used to have gym anxiety. Like I used to be so scared. That was the main reason I would talk myself out of it. And I'm sure a lot of you have felt that like where you just kind of don't want to feel awkward at the gym. You don't want to like feel like you're getting looked at. I think something that helps me is just blast music on the way and do not think about it. Like kind of forget that you're going to the gym. And then once you get there, you like trick your body. You're like, you didn't even have time to think about it to get that gym anxiety or focus on the way you're going to feel after also really helps me. Endorphins, natural high. I try to focus on that feeling rather than how I'm actually going to feel in the gym. I still feel amazing. I still feel so much more fitter than I was before. That's Bianca leaving right there. The mastermind behind the challenges. I just could not imagine doing anything else at the gym now that I feel found these workouts. And to treat ourselves, Murray and I had our final brekkie date before I left on my big UK trip. After six weeks off and my UK trip, it was definitely another slow process getting back into the gym. But I think the most important thing is that I keep coming back because I genuinely love these workouts. I love the way they make me feel. And right now I'm feeling physically and mentally better than I have in a long time. Exercise is so important for improving your mental health. And from someone who used to use working out as a punishment, as a way to get skinny, I have made so much progress with my mindset. Now the gym is about getting strong and feeling my best on the inside. My gym faces may be as ugly as ever, but my heart is feeling beautiful and pure. 
And there you have it guys. That is my fitness journey as of late. I mean, the main thing is I just felt amazing after getting into the gym, after being in such a bad mental state at the start of this year. Doing this program was something that really helped me get out of a slump. And I do wanna remind you guys that fitness journeys are completely different. You don't have to work out every single day to see results. And the best workout challenge for you is gonna be one that you really enjoy. I am so thankful for Bianca and for these programs because they literally just make me feel on top of the world. I would not do anything else at the gym now unless I'm doing my little workout challenge videos, but this is literally one of my favorite things to do in the day is go to the gym and do these challenges. So I literally could not recommend these programs enough. As you guys know, build is my absolute favorite, but I also love dabbling in the other exercises. So as I said before, if you want to shop any of these programs, I will have a code for you guys, and that is Suzy15 for 15% off. I will have the link down below for the Stronger by B website. And Bianca doesn't make this stuff up. She is a qualified personal trainer. She literally has so much knowledge on the subject. So you know you can trust what she's saying is actually gonna work. If you're still watching right now, comment a weightlifting emoji down below. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and also subscribe so you can join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Let's go live our best lives.